Hello makers, welcome back to my channel and today we are actually in the candle studio. Without further ado, let's kick off that series. So this is going to be a three part um, videos about the Wooden Wick Co. So a little of a backstory here. I'm based in the UK um, and obviously as a candle maker you start looking at videos on YouTube etc and if you do you're going to find a lot of fellow candle makers and YouTubers sharing their knowledge on YouTube and obviously talking about the Wooden Wick Co. So very early on in my candle journey, I discovered the brand and I bought from the Wooden Wick Co. probably within months of uh, starting my candle business. So I can say that I do have four of their fragrance in my permanent range, one of them being my actual top seller. So it is something that I wanted to do why? You're going to tell me there's a lot of candle supplier in the UK. Yes, and they're great and you've got lots of choice and there's definitely massive quality amongst um, um, candle suppliers in the UK. But the UK is also a very saturated market when it comes to candle. And very early on, I thought, why not try to differentiate myself by bringing in fragrances that are not in the UK? So that was in that process. I got to discover all the positive and negative about ordering from the US. So today's video is very much about how is it like for a UK EU candle maker to purchase from Wooden Creek Co. We're going to cover the order experience, the shipping experience, any kind of custom duty fees that you may experience. So let's just dive in. I have placed an order. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, you're going to see my order. Um, I placed an order because I wanted to make 100% candles with the Wooden Wick Co. So I placed an order for jars. They're Coco Apricot Cream Wax, which I've heard so much about. They're Spiral Wick and Fragrance Oil. This is what I ordered. So you can see all those four items. I went with larger size and larger quantity. So I went with a not a full size, but it's a um, 16 ounce, which is just under 500 ml uh, fragrance oil. I got the Aura Jar, which I bought 12 of. I got the Coco Apricot Cream Wax, which I bought um, 5 kg, 5 kilograms of, and a hundred of the Wooden Spiral Wick 01. Why? You're gonna say, why didn't you just buy one of each? Um, well, it brings us to the first topic. You can see right here that my shipping cost for that order was 170 something. So. Obviously, first thing about buying from the US is the shipping fees. Shipping is based on the weight of your parcel. So you're going to have to be smart when you want to place an order because small order, you're still going to have a shipping fee that is going to be around $70. So you want to make sure you maximize that shipping fee and you kind of go bigger. I'm going to do a comparison for you to see how much I would have paid in shipping if I had only bought the little sample well, the little bottle, uh, one jar and one kilo of wax and just a mini kit of the wooden wick so you can see how much the difference is. But I feel like for the amount that I bought, I'm going to be able to make 12 candles plus some testers. I've got fragrance oil and I've got uh, all my wicks that I can reuse with other candles and other wax of jar that I can source from the UK. So I would say that when you're placing an order, be ready to place a bigger order just to maximize, you know, your money there. In terms of duty, so this is true for the UK, it will not be true for the EU, um, and I won't be able to tell you for the EU, but for the UK, since we're now out of the European Union, since Brexit, there's no more duty on U US goods. So you can bring stock from the US into the UK without any custom fees. Yes, at least one good thing about Brexit, here we go. So that's one thing that you need to be mindful of. If you're in the EU, you're very likely going to get some custom fees that you will have to pay on top of your shipping fees. So that's something to be mindful of. Another thing that you need to know when you're based in the UK or the EU is that safety regulation and safety labels, regulation between the US and the UK slash EU, are different. In the US, candle makers in general can get away with just a safety label at the bottom of their jar, not in the UK. 
in the UK and that's going to be information for you guys based in the US we have to label every single candle that we sell with what is called the CLP label CLP label are going to be different for each fragrance that you sell and this looks like this so it's a mix of a safety label and certain characteristic about the the oil so in this exact case so this is not a a wooden wick a fragrance it's a candle that i made for christmas for some of my friends so um i have even if it's a gift even if i don't sell them whether you're in the uk or eu you need to have a clp label or your business is not compliant so something to know is that anywhere you buy your oils in the uk you will be able to download a clp label based on the fragrance load you use for your candle where it's less than 10 percent or up to 10 percent or above 10 percent you can use that on your candle or use clp services to get this design for you either way if you do provide that CLP that is in line with your fragrance load, your business is compliant. If you do not do that, you might have problem with trading standards in the UK. It means that when you do buy fragrance oil in the US, you will not be provided with CLP label for the fragrance load. You will be able to access safety data sheets on each fragrance um, product page. I'm going to put like a little screen grab or how you can do that on Wooden Wicker. But this will not give you a CLP label that you can use your candle because this is for 100% concentration. Your candles, depending on the wax you're using, you're going to use up to what, 12%? So what is in that documentation is not what should be on your label. So this is a problem because to be designing CLP labels, you're going to need more than what Wooden Week Co. is providing on their website. You're going to need ingredient lists, the concentration, which you're going to have to go back to their customer service and ask for. They know they are aware of that EU UK regulation. They know they have to provide this and they will provide that for you. When you do have that, you need to hire someone that can make CLP label. You cannot just go and peruse through the document and build a label. I did it for four of my labels with a UK lady who did who did it for me so she had to receive everything from the wooden wicker which i provided to her and she was able to create clp label for my fragrance load right this is an adding cost because this costed me 50 pounds per fragrance so for the one the four that i have in my range which i needed to um to be compliant with the uk regulation and also to be insured I had to pay an extra 200 pounds to get this done. So this is important to know and to, to, to have in mind. In terms of getting your order and your delivery. So once you've placed your order, so for example, this one I placed on the 31st of Jan, late at night or 1st of February, and it arrived on the 7th. So literally the following Monday, uh, it was in the UK. Um, so it was actually quite fast, like I'm not gonna lie, I was quite impressed with that. Uh, it's uh, dispatched with FedEx. Um, it was not much of a difference to get the fast one and the, the standard one, so I got the fast one, so that was the fast option that I took, but it's definitely something that you, you will get quite fast. I'm gonna just put in like a little video of the unboxing when I received the parcel in there. So you're gonna see everything I got and then we're gonna go in detail and look at every single product. Ooh. Wow, this is the Coco Apricot Creme. All right, so quite exciting unboxing. I was really pumped to receive my parcel so fast, so that was definitely plus point there. And then, well, let's look at what I got. So first of all, I'm going to start with the fragrance oil. So I got Primrose Apricot. Um, this is my absolute favorite from all the one that I have in my range. I have tried and bought from Wooden Wick Co. I would say probably 20 fragrances uh, from Wooden Wick Co. And there's a couple that are absolute favorite of mine. So Primo's Apricot is definitely one of those. It's a very feminine fragrance. It's not too fruity or floral. It's for me one of those most feminine fragrance you can find. 
um, it's a bit sweet um, yeah it's an absolute dream and I I love love this fragrance so it's more like like a floral version of an apricot if you can <laughs> picture that I mean the star of the show the aura jar so this is just beautiful so when you see them online i think i never realized how big they were going to be so just to give you like a little comparison i've taken out my usual two jars little amber jars which hold 150 gram of wax let's put them together to see the difference right because this is a 12 ounce or a jar that can contain 340 grams of wax and this is the amber jar so you can see the difference. We're not talking about the same type of candle here. Like, look at the size for wicking. It is huge. And even my bigger size candle, which are not yet live, um, but I'm gonna go and launch them soon. So this is the Lottie candle. Uh, you guys in the UK or EU will know them from Candle Shack, uh, which is a, usually I put like what, 220 gram of wax in there. Yeah, look at them. I'm gonna, well, it's not the best view because it's a, this is a jar that would be great for a double wick, for example. Um, but I'm gonna go on this one. I wanted to use spiral wick because I love the aesthetic. I love how it looks. Uh, so I'm, this is what I'm gonna use. To determine what wick to use, I use the wick guide available on Wooden Wicko. So I'm gonna go through the process here with you and show you exactly what I did. So what you need to know is what wax you're gonna use, what jar and especially the diameter of your jar, which for these aura jar is 3.75 inches. So once you've got that, you can just head to the guide and it will tell you which one is the best. In this case, for me, they told me that the Spiral Wick 01 was what I wanted. So here we are. See, I when I do get something from the Wooden Wick, I commit. So let's see what they look like. So they come in a little plastic sleeve, obviously wrapped, and you can see how it's a spiral. So it's not a tube, it's just held together like this by the sleeve and you just remove the sleeve when you're ready. So it's fairly simple, super easy. And then the wax, so it's too heavy for me to lift. So I'm just gonna put a little video that I took as well to show you what it looks like and we can, um, we can have a look together. Hmm. So just first impression, so very soft, you can, very creamy, I can just put my finger and it's definitely like you can feel it. It also doesn't smell like, um, you know, very um, frying oil. So sometimes with soil wax and you, you do have that kind of frying oil feel. This is very smooth and it doesn't smell um, oily or frying. So as a like summary of my experience from buying from the Wooden Wick Co, from ordering online to getting the delivery and receiving and opening the product, you can definitely see some pros and cons to buying from the US and delivering to the UK or the EU. Um, the one in the pros column, I would definitely put, it's a quality product, you can not argue with that. It is really high quality, whether the, the jar, the wicks, the fragrance oil, um, the wax, obviously I'm making that video after I made that candle, so I can already tell you that I've tried it and it looks awesome. So I can, I can see that. I can see how this is a really high quality product after making candles for so long. I've made my fair share of candles. I can tell you that this makes a beautiful candle. I'm not burn tested yet, but just looking at it now, I mean, I mean, come on. You can't really beat that. This is one of the most amazing smooth top I've ever seen. It's, it looks amazing. The aesthetic of that um, um, tube spiral wick in the middle is awesome. Um, so definitely, a pro is their quality of product. Another pro is I've not seen product like this in the UK. I've not seen 
two wicks uh, or at least it's not very present so i feel it offers a way to differentiate your business in a very saturated market whether for the wicks only the jar only or uh, the fragrance oil definitely something to think about in the cons column for me is obviously the easiest things to do is it would appear so the fragrance oil but it comes with that clp challenge it is not impossible i've done it for four of my fragrance it can be done but just bear in mind that you have to get your clp done otherwise you should not be selling this product in the uk market so bear in mind it's not as easy as getting the oil making your candle and selling them you need to get the clp date done and it will add some cost to your fragrance and i guess the other con is the cost of it so if you take into account the shipping thankfully there's no duty but you also have the clp cost to take into account it's gonna bring yourself to a more pricey candle you can obviously justify this through an amazing branding uh, of your product also on the fact that these bad boys will sell for a much higher price point just by the fact that they are so much bigger and if they burn nicely it's likely to get me a good 80 hour burn um, so they can be positioned as a premium and also the visual of it I mean the aesthetic it also depends on how your branding and your your website is gonna showcase this product so you can definitely say a premium the last thing that for me would be in the con section is the scalability and how it will be able to scale your business I'm, I'm actually quite in love with that wax after seeing that um, smoothed up I'm obviously not going to make a decision um, before seeing the hot throw and seeing how it burns but that wax is quite impressive I've made my fair share of candles throughout my candle journey and this is quite an impressive wax just like insane like just looking at it it makes me like wow I made this but just thinking of like okay if i wanted that wax in my range i would want to bring to the uk i don't know 40 kg of wax and 40 kg of wax would cost me this so you know it kind of raised the question of how scalable it is and how much you can actually put into your range i think it's great as a candle maker to check what's out there it also kind of open up opportunities of doing things different for your brand and how you're going to level up your brand so definitely something to look into we'll see you in the next video for a breakdown of how i made this candle and the third video will be a burn test where we will burn it all the way down and give conclusion on how the wick is performing how's the hot throw so stay tuned thanks for watching don't forget to like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe i will see you very soon